Hi there and welcome back to Baldur's Gate. Uh, there's one guy that we did overlook that's Evald here. You are different. <clears throat> I welcome you to village and I wish you luck in battle with evil that ship holds. I am Evald, I fish for clan and uh, in these savage waters. Well met, uh, we are the party of Hayward Chablomi. As you may have heard, we came here seeking knowledge of Baldur's final journey. And we are shipwrecked on the reefs in a violent storm. Tell me, sir, is there any way of this island once we find the things we seek? Unless you can build a boat strong enough for open sea travel, then you are trapped here with us. We attempt to build a boat for whole clan to sail on. Perhaps I should tell you more about island, yes? Please do. The island is not too big. With good wind, I sail around it in afternoon. There is a natural harbor on north of island and on east of island. The ship of my grandfather of Baldwin lies beached in north harbor. The east harbor holds our hope for survival. The island is very dangerous outside of village. The monsters that live in ship will kill and eat anything that they catch. Listen outsider, might I ask you for help? Certainly, what is it? I know that you may not believe my story, no one else on island does. My brother left village two nights ago and has not returned. I know where he has gone, though I am ridicu ridiculed uh, if I should say so. For fear no ridicule from me, Ewald, I have seen many strange things. <clears throat> Good people, there is a witch on this isle. My brother called her the Blue Lady and those of us who ply these waters have all heard her singing at one time or another. My brother even heard her more than most. I think that he went to find her. I think that he is under her spell. I must go and find him. This witch might kill him. He is strong, but he is under her spell. I fear that she will kill him before he realizes what is happening. Can you find my brother? Hmm, tell me where this witch is and I shall try to find her. I don't know exactly where she is. I have the sense to avoid her, unlike even. But I have only heard her singing along the west coast of the island. And we have another quest. <coughs> awesome. Yes. Get back to the party. The village fisherman Evil has asked us to find his brother. Even even has followed the song of a blue witch to the west side of the island. Great. Why do you do that? This isn't healthy. But I wonder why they always refer to themselves what as the would you clan. Have me do? They're not the Highlanders. That's weird. So, yeah, we're outside now. Do we get attacked? Hmm, I don't see no monster. Just forest. Oh, there's a bear. A bear, a brown bear. I say we kill it because it would actually attack us. Yep. If you get too close to those bears, they will attack you. So it's better. I don't want to be mauled by a bear. A bear, a bear, and a maiden fair. Oh, dead already. Mm, yeah, well. I wish they wouldn't always center on the party. But they do. Okay, let's move on. There's more exploring to be done, I guess. Okay. Can we go to that island here? I guess we can. But apparently we don't get much here. Can we go to the north from here? <coughs> yes we can. Okay, this appears to be the edge of the map. Oh, what's that? That's interesting.
What's that? Belladonna flowers. Okay. Two. They do not stack apparently. <coughs> hmm. Oh, hi, stop. Form up here. Not getting too close to the bears. Thank you. And your fire. life ends here. Oh, yeah, if you kill the bear before it actually gets hostile, you do not get that many XP. Oh, only 175. Okay. Get your life give ends us here. Victory! Oh, there are more bears. Yeah. Tempest, give us victory! Okay, it looks like we got it. For the fallen! I know Peter may not be too thrilled with me killing bears, but it would really suck if they attack you in like in close quarters. So. Alright, alright! Yay, finally getting things done here. Hurry up! Okay, where's the ship? I guess that's pretty much it. Time to leave this map. So there are no werewolves on that map apparently. Oh hi. Yeah I know. It's sad. Is anybody going to level? 125,000. Okay. Oh well, it's still going to take a while. I'm, I'm not really sure whether we will get another level in this game. I don't know actually how long, how much we still have, like, ahead of us of the game. This, this is, I don't know, the 117th, 118th video, let's say 120, 60 hours of gameplay already. That's awesome. Very well. Okay, there appears to be some sort of... Hello. Oh, hi, who are you? <coughs> Good day to you, strangers. Excuse my um, abruptness, but I would ask your assistance. Just east of this place, there are monsters. They are attacking a small group of people. Please, if you have hearts, come and help me fight. How come you uh, speak a much better English than the other guys? Uh, lead the way. Let us show these beasts the face of fear. This way, this way. Okay. Hello. Here we be. I see no battle. State your purpose. This is battle. Brothers, join the slaughter. X fucking cues me. For the fallen! Okay. Well, if this was an ambush. It was over quickly. Oh, hi. Yeah, how about I move out of the way? Stop it. Who are you? What do you want? Use a sword then. Hi. What is your if tempos will? Yes, oh omnipresent authority figures. Hurry up! Attack. So those were well, no, not werewolves. Wolf wears. Uh, uh, what's the difference between a werewolf and a wolf wear? A wolf wear. A werewolf is a man that can turn into a wolf, and then the wolf wear is a wolf that can turn into a man, or what? Oh, what's that? 
four things dolly. Okay, and a dagger. And more monsters. So we what attack you, you uh, but get the mage back. Oh wait, uh, you... Don't bother me. Use, mm, you know... Use uh, projectiles. <sighs> Your wish? Getting back. Very Whoops. Well. Oh, my heart's really not in this. Stop it. Hurry up. And we kill you too. <laughs> oh, they, they go down easy. Fine. That's all? Apparently. <clears throat> yep, it's working nicely. What would you have me do? Wolf wares. One thousand four hundred XP for a wolf wear. It's not half bad. Oh, hi. What's that? A dire wolf. Oh, great. How about we kill you? Your wish? And you move back a bit. Very well. Yeah! Victory! Hurry up! Fine. Oh, I can't really not in there. 125. That's not really much, though. Okay. Or maybe we should save. Where's the rest of my party? <laughs> yeah, I know it's... <laughs> You know, a little bit dangerous to have the mage running, you know, in front of the party, but he has boots of speed, he can get away quickly. Okay, so I guess we have to return to that spot. And up. And down. And up. And down. What's that? Oh wait, are those cannons? Yeah, okay. It's like some sort of defense installation? Hmm. <coughs> Sorry, I gotta drink something. But I guess my cold is getting better. That's good. Oh, hi, who are you? Krilla? Oh, please help me, they killed my poor Jondal! <laughs> if this Jondal is dead, then he was weak and should never have born! Um, who killed Jondal? The wolfmen, they attack us as we search for roots in the forest. Please avenge my Jondal, he was so young! Young and stupid is the sound of it. Get back to the village, girl, and I hope you learned your lesson. Oh no, we avenge him. And avenge you shall get and vengeance you shall get, my lady. Lead on. They are this way, please kill him, I'm so frightened. Well that may be another ambush. Uh it's probably gonna work. John I have brought you a feast. Uh-huh. Like I thought. Tempest. I'll get gone. Where's John Dahl? 1400 XP. Stupid little monsters. Where's John Dahl? Apparently here. Are you John Dahl? John Dahl, hi! Oh, well, he managed to come through one time. 
Ooh, it's a dagger. Is that what a dagger? Yes, yes that is a dagger. Hello. Um, how about you heal me? I'm somewhat hurt. Is this a cast? Ah, oh, heal light wounds shall suffice now. <coughs> Much better, Your thank wish? you. Wolf wears. Where's the m okay? All right, all right. All right, all right. What do we have here? Can we get in here? We can get in here. Oh, let's get in here. Better take the full party. You never know what's inside here. You're not figments, are you? I'm not wasting any more time talking to figments. Dradiel. Can it be after so long? Buy cellular split. I'm saved. <sighs> Do I know you, sir? Know me? I doubt it very much. How did you find me? Did the gibbering twelve send you? Or it was perhaps Golondon the unmanned? Excuse me, I've never heard of the Gibbling Twelve or for the matter this unmanned fellow. <laughs> Saloon, how long I've been here. I should never have joined Baldurin on his cursed voyage. Why is this happening? Who sent you, if not my mistress's eyes? Amendas of Waterdeep, a scholar and archaeologist. We were sent to retrieve artifacts from Baldurin's ship. I could use retrievals, I suppose, but I'm hardly an artifact. <laughs> yeah, let's not be too picky here. Could you tell us what happened on Baldurin's final voyage? Oh, he says a lot. We sailed far, uh, too far. We sailed too far. Enochrome, 200 strong. We sailed too far. Enochrome. Oh, we sailed too far. Enochrome. That's a, a city, I guess. 200 strong. We returned with half of our brethren dead on the Golden Lands shores. But Baldron was ever the successful adventurer. He wrested the king's ransom and treasure from the cursed lords of Ancorum before we were forced back to the ship and expelled from their shores. The cursed lord's power haunts me still. Those monstrosities out there are the product of our travails in Ancorum. It was a bitter wind that carried us homeward and we reveled not in our newfound wealth. We came upon this island quite by accident and stopped to renew our dwindling supply of fresh water. I led the landing party while Baldurin set the remaining crew to repair the sails and fish for fresh food. My party was hardly my party was hardly out of earshot when the sh of the ship when the curse curse struck. The blood still stains my robes. <laughs> Excuse me for interrupting, but your robe seems perfectly clear to me. <laughs> Clear to me. Uh, no, I can feel it. It covers me. Uh, okay, you were saying? They changed, of course. It was so sudden. We were speaking about what we intended to do when we arrived home. Galen died first, his throat torn open by one of the changed men. I couldn't tell who killed him, of course, since they were unrecognizable in their changed forms. I reached for the wand that I carried in my robes, but the abominations moved too quickly. Of the ten sailors in my party, seven were lycanthropes. I, we had no chance. Two of them leaped at me even while the others feasted on the bodies of my other sailor. I cast lightning with my wand and killed one of the shapeshifters. The other wolf hit me with great force. I was thrown back against the tree and knew no more. I awoke in the dark several hours later. At first I believed I was dead, but when I tried to ri ri rise, my, the pain in my head dispelled that myth. There was blood everywhere, so much blood. The body of the Lycanthrope I had killed lay several feet away. I draped over Galen's ravaged corpse. I wretched at the sight of my friend so cruelly killed. I cast one of the few spells I had, Invisibility, wagering that if a Lycanthrope caught scent of me, they would believe that they were smelling nothing more than a corpse. I crawled painfully back to the beach. The ship was half sunk in the surf, a huge hole in her side, as if a giant had punched through her in a rage. There was a smoldering fire on the deck, and in that sickly light I could see the bodies of the ship's crew, gutted and hung in the rigging like so much meat. Sickened and in despair, I crawled back into the woods. Dawn arrived, and I came upon this ancient village. 
This hut was sunk in the sandy soil, and I crawled inside to hide and buried away behind me with my final spell. After a short and fretful sleep, I managed to find where the hut had broken uh, through into this cave. To this point, I have survived on the freshwater stream and peculiar sightless fish that uh, lives in the calm pools below. In these 500 years, I have found some favor with Saloon. She has granted me a few spells and wards to better protect my pre precarious home. I haven't left these caves for many years as I haven't the power to defend myself for long. Perhaps you could remedy that. Holy fuck, he lived here for 500 years? How long can you live? What are you, an elf? I would be glad to help. Truly, I am in your debt. The Lycan Truth Slayer is in Baldurin's ship. My spellbook lies within. With it, I am a powerful mage. Without it, I am the pauper that stands before you. These few wards I cast the gift of pity from Saloon. I have turned to the goddess in my fear and solitude. Perhaps my lengthy imprisonment is but a penance so that I might become worthy of the goddess. I digress. With my spellbook retrieved, I may be able to discover a way off the island. If you go to destroy the Lycanthrope Slayer, I would ask that you find my book. Where might this book be found in the ship? My spellbook is in a chest in my cabin. The cabin is next to Baldurans on the level just below the decks. <coughs> Please hurry back with it. This amulet is all that I can offer you as protection against the Lycanthropes. Lycanthropes? Lycanthropes? Whatever. Werewolves. Uh, should you need to rest, I hope that my humble abode will serve you well. Okay. What did we get? Did we get an amulet? Wolf Spain Charm. Tackle plus two versus Lycanthropes. Damage plus two versus Lycanthropes. Hmm, not half bad. How about you use that? So now you have. Ah, it doesn't show probably because it's only against versus Lycanthropes. Uh, he has a Tackle of six. Haywood has a Tackle of nine. Or oh, Kevin has a Tackle of three actually. Hmm. Seven for Jahira, eleven for Branwen, and ten for Imoen. Okay. Um, wait, what's that? Can I get that? It's locked. Hurry up! Doesn't matter. We <laughs> have a girl a that fellow. can deal with locks. This way. Ooh, that's not half bad. Quarter star. Yeah, more of those um, Belladonna thingies. Holy Cloak. This cloak is a holy artifact of the inhabitants of the island village. An item with more symbolic value than... Ah, that's the thing that they need, okay. Stuff Mace. Staff Mace. Uh, this elect clerical weapon appears to be a normal wooden staff of the type used when trekking in the wilderness. It gives off a f very faint aura of alteration magic. Upon identification of the command word, the staff takes the attributes of a mace which allows it to be wielded with one hand. This was designed for both priests and druids. So it's a plus two weapon. Even I could probably use that. Oh, a mace! For a mage! Yeah, great. But, um... That's a, the stuff of striking actually is better. What do you have? That's a plus two warhammer and you have a plus two. Scimitar. Speed factor 2. Yeah, it's not half bad actually, but I don't think we actually need it. Maze plus 2. Clay plus 1. Okay, then you take it instead of the player. Just if you have to fight, like skeletons or something. What would you have made your wish? Let's explore if that you uh, cave here. Okay, this is where the mage lives. The recipes and one. Hmm, I don't think that I need that. Anything else to get here? I guess not. Hmm. Moving on then. 
All right, all right. Um, what would you have me do? Back to sling. Thanks. Your wish? If you insist. What's that? Oh, nothing. Oh, that appears to be a ship. Can I get to that? Hmm. Oh, there's a hole in the in the ship's hull. We could enter it probably here. But uh, I will, of course, explore the rest of the map before I enter the ship. That much is certain. Let's save. <coughs> oh, hi. I guess we get attacked by... Wolf bears. Or werewolves? No, wolf bears. Oh, you're dead. Boom. Give oh, fuck it. Hurry up. Very well. Um, that actually calls for a entangle spell. Can I help Yeah, yeah. Fuck them. Fuck them up. Me? Like I thought. Hurry up! Nothing. I wanted to go to the north before I was so rudely interrupted. What's that here? Is that a house? Can I? No, no, no. That's the ship's entrance, I guess, or whatever. It doesn't really. Is that a ship? Nah, it looks like a building. Ah, I don't know. Maybe it's Even overgrown with... with... Vision, I prefer the daylight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe it's probably overgrown with wood, forest and stuff. Hmm. We shall see. 500 years is a long time. How can a mage I still be alive? Like the way this group is turning oh, hi, there's a bear. Better leadership might help. Oh, fuck it. What would you have me do? Oh, my right, brave right. will cut you see? down the side. turns hostile. If you're too close, but he he, it didn't work. Hmm. Moving on. What do we have here? A dread wolf. No, a dire wolf doesn't matter. Oh, a whole bunch of them. Victory! Hurry up! All right, all right. First one down. What would you have me do? The How come Renrin is always in front? What do you think that's weird? What is your command? Hurry up! And the bear. <laughs> Thanks. If you insist. Thank you. Kill them. And you're the last one. <laughs> that appears to be another end of the map. Oh, there's much more to explore. <laughs> Interesting. What will we find? Here? Fools to cross my path. Halt, land dwellers. Who gave you leave to approach my home? 
I'm Hayward Chaplomi and these are my companions. Perhaps you could explain what happened to the fellow behind you? I don't see anything. I doubt that you would understand. Nevertheless, I will attempt to explain. I am a serene and as much and as such must mate with a human male. My song lures them to me and the males are most happy to oblige. Normally both parties will benefit from the exchange. It is my time to mate, so I lured this fisherman to me. He attacked me and tried to force himself upon me. When my song no longer affected him, I took drastic measure. The monster deserved to die. Perhaps even land dwellers can understand that. What? Normally? Mm -hmm. uh, he attacked me and tried to force himself upon me. Well, I think that's well, the attacking not, but the forcing himself upon you is what you wanted. Hmm. I don't know, Serene Queen. And as such must mate with a human male. My song lures them to me and the males are most happy to oblige. Normally both parties will benefit from the exchange. It is my time to mate, so I lured the fisherman to me. He attacked me and tried to force himself upon me. When my song no longer affected, I took more drastic measures. Hmm. Yeah, I guess if he attacked you, then... Yeah, uh, you f killed him in self-defense. You did what you had to do. We would have done no less. I we wish only to retrieve the body and leave you be. Well spoken, land dweller. You may have the monster's corpse, if it's such as your wish. 2000 XP, and what do we get? Even's body. Oh, fuck it. Can you carry that? Yes, you can carry that. So I think it's it's not good to kill her. She didn't do anything. I mean, okay, she lured him to her, and yeah, maybe they would have had sex, and then he could have gone away. But apparently, he attacked her, and she defended herself. I think that's that's okay. No need to actually hurt her for that. So now we actually have quite a few items. We should. You need something, stranger. What the hell? New actors in our little drama. Who might you be? Shipwrecked sailors, perhaps? <coughs> hmm. Feeling somewhat cryptic today, are you? Save your impatience, outsider. There's nothing but time on our island paradise. Are you not familiar with the goings on in your own village? If a boat is being built, then there is a good chance that the clan may escape the island. The fools within the village walls believe anything that they are told. Keisha is powerless to save until Salad returns. Uh, to leave until Salad returns, unless, of course, he sent you here. I have never made a Salad's acquaintance. We came at the request of an archaeologist. Why don't you go and speak with your head woman? I have, mm, I haven't time or inclination to explain it to you. Mm. Keisha doesn't seem to agree with you. She seems confident in, of her ability to sail the clan to the mainland. Ha! You play right into her hands, friend. I will leave you to this fate because it amuses me to do so. Be gone. Who the hell are you anyway? Mame. That doesn't ring a bell. What time is it? Oh, it's time. So I guess we will take a break and continue exploration in the next video. So thank you very much for watching. And see you soon. Bye.